Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Saturday, Super Saturday. So I'm going to bring in some powerful cards for this reading today. We're going to use the Divine Masculine Takes Charge Affirmations, the Divine Masculine Opens Up and the Power in Nature Twin Flame Oracle all by our soul sister Sandra Cole. And we're also going to bring in Christine's deck, The Twin Flame Journey Home. So we're going to see what's going on with you today in a powerful way. So I'm going to start with what energy you're in today. What energy you're in today? Wow, jump straight out of the deck. I've got three cards, but this one flew out. Look at this. We've got synchronicities now. I love this because this is really resonating with the energy of this day. You know, the feminine got the message saying, trust the signs that you see. Trust the synchronicities. Trust, you know, what you are shown that this love is real. And you're receiving these synchronicities too. You know, the way things just pop in your mind and you think, wow, you have these aha moments. You know, you are reminded of your twin and sometimes it freaks you out because you think, I can't make this stuff up. This has been shown to me for a reason. There's something big going on here. Some of the synchronicities will blow your mind. And also that you are healing any heartbreak. So you want, you've been shown synchronicities that now is the time to reconnect, to heal the heartbreak, to apologize, to sort things out. And also that you're ready to begin again. You know, you're ready now to move forward and make this right. And also that's what you're gaining clarity on. So the synchronicities are helping you to see what you are being guided to do. And what changes you are being guided to make. And I feel there's clarity coming into you today or, you know, around you from your situations. So people you may be spending time with or people you may be around are giving you clarity about your life. And that may be directly or indirectly. So, for example, you know, you may be around someone who gives you a little piece of advice and it just makes something click in your mind. Or you see someone in a happy relationship and you start remembering how it is with your twin. So the affirmations you can use today or what we need to be connecting with is I am taking charge of my life. And I feel that's what you're wanting your feminine to know. That you are doing what you've come here to do. You know, I am doing this divine feminine. Please trust me to find my way. Don't underestimate me. And I am beginning to accept myself as I am. And that's something big that you go through on your journey. And I feel the more you do this, the more you're going to feel a recovery coming in around any physical things. So you're going to feel much better. I accept myself as I am. And I am working towards becoming the greatest version of myself. So you are becoming the person that you're truly meant to be. And there's a delivery coming. Bear with me a second. So a delivery coming there and I feel that you're saying to your feminine, I am going to deliver on my promises. I am working towards becoming the greatest version of myself. You know, you do want to reach out, knock on that door, send that message, let them know how you truly feel because you are becoming the emperor. This is really powerful. And masculines, you know, if you've been seeing the stag yourself, this is a great symbol of your transformation. But I feel you may also be seeing eagles because eagles are a great symbol of power. You know, they are a symbol about you moving forward and making changes and doing it the right way. But it's also a big sign of things you're doing in your life. You know, the dreams you have, the things you want to create, the person you want to be. And to do that and be that person, you have to forgive, on your, forgive yourself. I am working on forgiving myself. I am doing the work. I am doing what I need to do. And the angels are asking you to focus on joy. Now, I haven't even shuffled this deck yet. But the cards, two cards are moving at the bottom. And we've got joy. Do the things that bring you joy and live your life joyfully. And what brings you joy is being around your divine feminine. Because your feminine lifts up your spirit. Your feminine makes you feel good. Your feminine helps you to thrive and be this best version and also brings in unconditional love focus on the love that you feel in your heart and simply love simply love focus on the love today and this is really powerful because in the feminine reading i spoke about how the feminine is going to be sending you love the feminine is going to be sending love to your heart 
and letting you know it's okay for you to move forward. So you're going to feel this love today and you're going to be focused on it. You're going to feel it in your heart and it's going to feel very simple. And when you rest and relax, you're going to feel it even more. So rest and relax today. There's no need to worry. There's no need to rush. Relax and look after you. Do things for you today and also be present in the moment. I love that we've got the squirrel. The squirrel is the symbol of the gathering. So you're gathering everything you need right now and you're saying to your family, I am gathering everything I need to be able to be with you. I'm gathering all the knowledge, the information, the resources. I'm gathering everything so we can live a good life. And you always want to live in the present moment. And the angels are reminding you of that because when you go into the past, you can go over things and beat yourself up and feel very stressed out. When you go over the future, it can make you feel anxious and scared and worried and put you into dramatic energy. When you're in the now, you feel safe. So always live your life as much as you can in the here and now. So I'm shuffling this deck. This card flew out of the deck. Look at this. A lot has gone on since we last saw each other. I have so much that I want to tell you, so much to show you and so much to give you. So I'm just going to move the camera up a little bit there and get there a little bit more in focus. So you're saying to your feminine, I've been going through a lot. You know, a lot's gone on since the last time we saw each other. And I have so much I want to tell you, so much I want to give you and show you. And you feel a sense of urgency for this. You know, you're wanting to contact them and tell them the news tell them what's been going on with you i just feel you waiting for the right time and i've been through so much in my life since the last time i saw you but i now understand that it's all been happening to help me leave behind all that's not good for me so i can start afresh with you so the big message coming through here today is you're saying to your feminine i've been through so much i've been through so much since the last time i saw you whether that was a day ago, a week ago, 10 years ago, you've been through so much. And you have, you know, you've been going through it physically, emotionally, mentally. You've been going through things in your physical reality. And you're saying to your feminine, I've been through so much. And that doesn't mean that you deserve a violin or, you know, it's not saying, oh, you poor you. It's saying you've grown as a soul because you're becoming the emperor. And you're saying, I now understand why it's all been happening. I now understand why I behave that way. I'm learning to let those things go. I'm learning to walk away from the things that no longer serve me. And I am gaining the strength and I am gaining the courage to approach you more and more every day. So you're asking your family to trust you as you move forward. And the thing that stops you is fear. You know, the thing that you have to overcome is fear because you are saying, even though I'm feeling all these things, I've grown so much and I want to approach you more and more. I do imagine all sorts of negative scenarios happening if I do come towards you and they put me into fear. I don't think I would be able to survive being rejected by you. So masculines, you're being reminded that rejection is a redirection. If your feminine rejects you, it's a sign for you to do it a different way, to take control. And your feminine will never reject you. Your feminine will reject the negativity and the struggle and the pain, you know, and you acting like a crazy fool sometimes because they want you as your best self and you want you as your best self. So if you're operating in your best self when you move forward and you're being very genuine and loving and open and kind and transparent, your feminine will never reject you because they love you. And that's what you need to know. So don't let the ego control you and put you into all sorts of scenarios that cause pain. Instead, focus on love, focus on the end result, focus on being you and everything will work out. And that's what they want you to know. But pay attention to the synchronicities because they are showing you it's real, that now is the time and that things are making more sense. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.